In this video, we will discuss the difference between stress strain curve for ductile and brittle materials. Through this lesson, you will be able to differentiate between stress strain curve for ductile and brittle materials. Engineering materials are broadly classified into two based on its behavior against external loading, namely ductile material and brittle material. Ductility is defined as the ability of solid materials to plastically deform to larger extent before fracture when it is subjected to an external tensile loading. Whereas brittle material or brittleness is defined as the tendency of solid material to undergo negligible plastic deformation before fracture when it is subjected to an external loading. Steel and aluminium are good example for ductile materials. Similarly, ceramic and glass are materials with high brittle nature. In general, ductile materials can be drawn into sheets or wires, but brittle materials cannot be used for same purpose. This stress strain diagram represents a typical ductile material where stress and strain will proportional to each other up to yield point and further increase in stress leads to yielding of material and reach its maximum stress value or ultimate stress. Further increase of stress will lead to abrupt change in strain and eventually it will fracture. Hence, after yield point it exhibit a high range of plastic deformation. If we plot same curve for ductile material, it will appear differently as you are seeing on this diagram. Stress and strain increases simultaneously and fracture occurs suddenly without a plastic deformation of material. Now let us discuss salient features of stress strain diagram for ductile and brittle material. Ductile material always exhibits yielding for a large extent and change its shape to accommodate straining. Whereas brittle materials, there is almost no yielding or very very less yielding occurs and material will fail after reaching its ultimate stress capacity. In case of ductile material, there is a high range of plastic or permanent deformation, hence ductile materials always indicate its failure through necking or cracks before breakdown. But in case of brittle materials, there is almost no plastic deformation. Hence, material will suddenly fail without any indication of failure. Glass is a good example for this behavior. When we consider ductile materials for design, we should take yield point as is load carrying capacity. Because after yield point, the material will alter its dimensions. Hence, it will not be suitable for the purpose. That is the reason engineers calculate factor of safety based on yield point in case of ductile materials. But when we use brittle materials for an application, its loading capacity will be calculated based on its ultimate stress. The area under stress strain curve represents its strain energy absorption capacity. It is evident that ductile materials always absorb high amount of energy. You can observe that for a brittle material, energy storage is comparatively low. 